What's up beautiful people? It's your girl Janaya Leah and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as y'all can see my hair kind of looking a mess right now. I got this little clip on my head but that is because I am going to be doing a flexi rod set on my V part wig today or U part wig today and I haven't done a flexi rod set in a very very long time so I'm very excited to see how this comes out but before we go ahead and get started let me show y'all the hair that we're going to be working with today so as y'all can see this is my I want to say 16 inch kinky straight U part wig from She Slays First Hair all the information about the hair will be in the description box down below but I'm interested to see how this will look on a shorter wig and I feel like it's gonna look super cute and natural with this kinky straight texture so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video okay y'all so first things first for this install I went ahead and put on my V part U part wig and with this because I like to wear these wigs so much I just went ahead and did a whole braid down so that way like I'm kind of trying to protect my hair under it while I'm wearing these wigs so it's somewhat of a protective style for me From there, I went through and brushed out this kinky stripe because I do love the kinky stripe texture because I knew it was going to give me a very natural flexi rod look. But in order to have like smooth looking curls, you have to first brush them out. And so that's what I did. And then from there, I went ahead and parted out my middle part because I knew I was going to be wearing this style in the middle part. And then I separated my hair into two sections. I don't need more than that because I knew it wasn't, I was gonna do big parts and that I'm not gonna use that many flexi rods. But anyways, now for rolling the flexi rods, the method I like to use is I like to roll the flexi rods from the ends of my hair up. So what that means is I like to kind of start with my end piece of hair and then wrap every other piece of hair around that. So that way, as I get towards the top, you guys can see like I really don't even have to secure the bottom of the flexi rod because of the way that it's rolled up. And I feel like this also helps kind of avoid like that crimp look that you can get sometimes when you um, curl the ends of the flexi rods which I kind of don't like but at the same time you know what works for you works for you so whichever way kind of works for you rolling wise do that but I like this way because it also doesn't take up too much space now the key when you're doing flexi rods is to give as much tension as possible because this is textured hair kinky straight and the mousse was also giving it a little more of you know kinkiness it was important that I kind of you know gave it a real tug as I was wrapping it around and one way you can do that is kind of make sure you're like pulling on the flexi rod as you're doing the style now y'all for a piece of advice don't be like me I used way too much mousse on this install and as a result my curls was so crunchy after the fact y'all so don't use too too much mousse a little really good really does go a long way especially after wearing the style for like two three days you really don't want like heavy product in your hair because it's not necessary and it also increases your drying time which y'all will hear more about a little later but yeah so basically y'all can just see i'm continuing this same method on both sides and i'm specifically separating the leave out from the rest of the hair because i'm going to focus on that part last because i still need to do a little work with my natural hair to make sure it blends Oh, oh, oh. 
So once I rolled all of the other hair, it was time to go through and focus on my leave out. And so what I did for that is I got a little wax stick. This one is from Kiss Colors and Care. And I applied it to my root to the roots of my hair and I used my hot comb to kind to, to kind of flatten my natural hair so that way I help it like blend a little better. Now this step is definitely optional because it is a kinky straight wig, and so that's the benefit that it already blends pretty good but I did this because I kind of wanted a more sleek look but if you do want a more natural and like poofy flexi rot set then skip this step Now I sat in the dryers for at least 20 minutes, but due to the amount of mousse I use, I definitely needed more. But anyways, before you go through and take your flexi rods out, apply a little oil to your hands so that way it doesn't cause your hair to be frizzy. And if y'all look at this piece, this is what it looks like when it's not dry. So you need to get back under the dryer. So I had to wrap this one back up and I sat for a little more. But when I tell y'all, I was tired. So at some point I just started blow drying the ones that weren't dry. And I just said, you know what? It's gonna get as best it's gonna get because it's Super Bowl Sunday and I got somewhere to be. <laughs> but anyways, when I go through and take them out, what I like to do, is I like to unravel and twist at the same time. And this is so I don't just unroll it kind of like burrito style, but I actually do it in a spiral. So that way I kind of make sure I'm forming the curls as I'm like revealing the curls, if that makes sense. Hopefully y'all get what I'm saying, but I kind of just like twirl as I'm like unraveling to make sure like the curl is still there. Okay, hopefully that made sense. Then from there, this is how the curls look once I got all the flexi rods out. And y'all see they look very, very tight, very, very uniform for the most part. And I, I really did like them. And so when you go through and separate your curls, do it just as you were, um, as if you were doing a twist out or separating a twist out. So I literally go through each curl. First, I split it in a half. And then I go through and I split it into even smaller halves. And at some point, I got lazy and just straight up started poofing them up. But you can kind of eyeball this depending on the look that you want like which ones I want to completely separate which ones you know I want to you know mess around with which one which parts of my hair I want to poof so yeah
Now, personally, I love the behind the ear look only because I realized that I probably should have wrapped my flex wraps the other way and I didn't like the dent that was in the top of the flex wrap near my natural hair. So I wanted to tuck mine behind my ear. And so from there, if y'all look around, y'all can see that certain um, curls or parts that were flexi rotted, either they didn't dry properly or didn't form like the same uniform curl. So don't trip, don't think you gotta go back under the dryer. What I did on this step was I literally grabbed my wand curler and I went through and basically just kinda wand curled each little part that I felt like needed a little more love. And so that kind of helped. They still kind of gave a similar same look. If anything, I feel like it added a little more character to the style. But when I tell y'all, don't use that much mousse because it's going to come back and it's going to bite you. Okay? Okay. And then last but not least on this step, I was just trying to figure out how I wanted to put my scarf on. I needed to basically just flatten my little behind the ear parts. And so I ended up kind of just taking it under my hair. And this step is optional as well. I'm just like problematic at times. So yeah, I wanted mine to look extra flat and laid. So yeah, with that being said, I went through with my scarf and I laid it down. Alright y'all, so here is the final look and personally, I feel like I like it. It took us a lot of work to get here. If y'all did not notice, y'all, I did not sit under the dryer for that long. But me personally, I'm not the type of person who can sit under the dryer for that long. But anyways, I think it came out really, really cute. So thank y'all so, so much for tuning in. And definitely remember, I did link the hair and all the details about the hair in the description box down below. And all the products, so the mousse, edge control, all that good stuff that I use in this video are from Kiss Colors and Care. So with that being said, thank you so much for tuning in. You already know, click smash, smack that subscribe button down below, and I will see y'all on my next video.